Mic check, mic check. What's kicking, family? I'm here, you're there. This is Mr. Batch. Just want to kick it for a hot second. All right, this is what I, I, I've got to kick about football. Some very interesting and some very funny stuff happened along the way. I just had to, you know, chime in on it. Ocho Cinco was fined $25,000 for waving a dollar bill at the umpire's referees in an infraction in one of his games. Marvin Lewis has... Uh, told him do not send packets of mustard to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Wow, they they just trying to put the kibosh on Ocho Cinco. Ocho Cinco, I'm calling him by his name because that's his name. My man changed his name. A lot of those professional prognosticators still want to go like, oh, it's, but he had his name legally changed and his name is Chad Ocho Cinco. I'm going to respect that and call him like that. That's what he wants. And I like the young man. You know why? He's having fun. One thing about Ocho Cinco is that I have I've never seen anything or read anything about him outside of football. Any, you know, uh, shall I say, an infraction warning, an arrest, and subsequent uh, incarceration? No. So, with that being said, I'm like, yo, come on, let the man have some fun. Uh, it's, it's, it's good for the game. It, the game has evolved to such now where it's got much more of like an interaction, much more characters. And, and 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 that's what I like about him. The league got their, their shorts in a bunch. They find him. Marvin Lewis is, is starting to get nervous. He's one of my coaches that was on the hot seat. But the way that the uh, Cincinnati Bengals have turned it around, uh, he's kind of off it. Then you got my man over there, Lovey Smith, who dropped that game last night against the San Francisco 49ers. Ooh, wait till I get online and see what they got to say in Chicago. I might just tune into um. Uh, 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 they're probably their sports radio station over the internet to hear what's going on. That's that'd probably be lovely. But moving right along, as far as these ball players, Michael Vick got his 19 million. The Superior Court had overruled the lower court, saying that he can uh, keep the money. Uh, come on now, these owners make enough money as it is already. They said that the wording in the contract was a bit ambiguous. Whoa, way to way to cut through all the chase and get it down to the brass tacks. That being said, yo, didn't Michael Vic make a pretty penny. Think about it. Out of jail, lost everything, filed bankruptcy. They don't know whether or not the controversy died, died down about the dog fighting and everything. <coughs> Excuse me. He's paid his dues and he picked up a pretty good paycheck. Uh, I don't believe that he's going to be coming back next year as an Eagle quarterback backup. Uh, Andy Reid has been having him run the Wildcat, you know, mainly. He hasn't really gotten into a rhythm. And a set of actually performing quarterback duties. So therefore, you really don't know what kind of package you've got with uh, with with Vic. So, oh, speaking of Vic, you know the Fox uh, uh, Sports Sunday show with Terry Bradshaw, Howie Strahan, and the such had did their uh, their program from Afghanistan. And speaking of Vic, there was somebody when they panned, there was a cat holding a Michael Vic jersey for the Eagles. That's representing all across. So we'll see what happens at the end of this year for Michael Vick and whether or not he'll stay with the Eagles. I think that he's going to go someplace else. This should be another team that should take a chance on him and see what he can really do quarterback duties. Okay, what else What else am I thinking about? Yeah, Larry Johnson. Uh, Larry Johnson uh, out of Kansas City derisive statements disgruntled few years removed from um, from uh, at least 1500 yards a season back-to-back -back years got a lot of carries on him who can he help coming down the stretch now the professional prognosticators is talking about New England might pick him up New England has a dearth of running backs but that doesn't stop Bill Pelichick from picking up people before so that's another question now oh yeah talking about the league and ball players Selleck the tight end for the Eagles scored a touchdown against the Cowboys struck the Captain Morgan pose oh sorry guys you, I can't see it but I, I like that pose too when me and the crew we was watching the, uh, the game down in the man cave he said, yo, didn't he just do the Captain Morgan? Well, all with all this coming out, 
Selleck has denied that he struck the Captain Morgan pose. Why? Because the NFL is against excessive celebration. In this case, Captain Morgan was going to uh, at least pay the fine for any excessive celebration by a football player if they struck the Captain Morgan pose. If you guys have already heard it, Selleck has denied that. But, you know, me and my crew, we saw that. And uh, that was a pretty good pose. But... Uh, they don't want any any outside entity or uh, somebody trying to promote their product by having the ball players do various things in the end zone because you know celebrations have come a long way up to this point uh, i remember when you know it was <laughs> billy white shoes johnson he was doing his thing you had the fun bunch and now it had evolved into these these very things now chad ochocinco with the pom-poms the jacket proposing on the sideline terrell owens with the sharpie and stuff like that uh kids doing the nest t type plunge into the end zone so the game has evolved from you know okay i scored my touchdown ref here you go to these guys really good or uh, exuberant and um real happy so you know what i'm saying look they scored the touchdown it's the end of the play the clock has stopped and it's dead a hey, let them yo break dance whatever whatever they want to do what the hell and you know what um, that's what I should wait a minute wait a minute there's one more thing I want to close out with this thing about the Tennessee football players the three freshmen who were arrested for uh, attempted robbery and stuff like that yo let me just cut to the tape pay them pay them bottom line is they they taken a lot of money for these institutions of higher learning if you're worrying about how to divvy up the money you're the institutions of higher learning you got all these damn brainiacs y'all could slice up this money down to the centavo I'm going to tune in to my boys Righteous Talk and hear what they had to see and hear what they had to say about that. Those guys really had their pulse on, you know, the, the football scene, and I respect their opinions and values a lot. So I'm going to check them out and hear what they got to say. But what Mr. Batch has to say is, yo, pay these kids. Division One, they bring in crazy money. These, these schools are now part of regional cable programs which they're getting paid come on there's money coming in from all venues you should see the money that's going out to major league baseball football basketball by the various tv cable and satellite providers that's all mr batch has got to say i say yo pay them pay these kids the bank pay them bottom line and i'm out of here like i stole something peace